If you have two laptops, then this KVM docking station is a great choice to you. But if you have one laptop and one desktop with one USB Type-C port, then this KVM and docking station might be a great option for you. On the other hand, if you have a MacBook Pro or a Mac Mini, probably it's not the best choice. It is a bit limited and I will be sharing with you the limitations that we will find on Mac OS. This KVM docking station is called AV Access Key D. E20 and it will allow us to connect one keyboard, one mouse and split it between two computers without having to connect and disconnect cables or dongles or even those keyboards and mouse that have Bluetooth we will need to be changing every time that we want to use another computer. This will solve that basic issue but it will solve much more. We will be able to connect multiple USB Type-C or Type-A accessories that will work on both computers and all we need to do is to press this button right over here on the docking station or use the included remote control to switch from one computer to the other. Simple as this, all we need to do is to press a button and we'll have all the accessories that are connected here on one computer. Once we press the button, all of them will go to the other computer. This KVM and docking station is meant to be used with two Windows laptops and that's the way that I've been using with two of my laptops right over here with Windows 11. They work great but if we take a look at this setup here it's interesting and it opens our minds to different setups. This is a mini computer but it only has one cable connected. So I have no power, no HDMIs, no Ethernet, nothing here. Everything is coming from the USB Type-C cable. So this might give you ideas that you can have a different setup between your computers without having to use two laptops. Now this particular cable here is capable of transmitting everything, data and so on. So if I want to switch from my laptop to my desktop, I have two choices. But at this moment, if I drag this window, I can go here and I can go on the laptop screen as well because the advantage is that I've got three screens here while there I don't. Now I have 4K at 60 Hertz on both, which is the maximum of the docking station KVM. And at this moment, if I want to switch to that computer, I just need to press that button right over there. It will switch from one to two to there I am on the desktop that I've got right over here once again with just one single cable. For those that want a clean minimalistic setup this is a great option. Now at this moment what I can see right over here is uh, two windows that I did open. We are going to do some speed tests here just so that we can confirm the speed test here on the docking station but I can use 4k at 60 hertz on both displays which is awesome for a really really small setup using this this docking station. Now besides being able to switch from computers right here on the docking station, there's also this remote control which is wired so it has about one meter or so and on this particular setup which is everything really close for this video I don't see the need to use the remote control but if I was a bit far away from the KVM let's say that I did hide the KVM there I could have this one just near to me here on the uh, near the keyboard or the mouse and then I just need to press it and bam if it's on the desk I just need to push it down and that is it I can switch from one computer to the other computer without getting near of the KVM docking station which is a really nice touch. So this will depend on our setup. Now if I go here I can select a target drive. Let's select the SSD which at this moment is connected here on the USB Type-C. So I'm going to select this one and press start and the results that we are going to get is 5 gigabit speeds on both the USB Type-C and I've also tested the USB Type-A ports here at the front and this will be the maximum that we will get. So 5 gigabit which means a maximum top speed of 500 megabytes per second reads and on writes. We are achieving more or less 420, 430 which is online with the 5 gigabit limitation. Now let's stop this one and just out of curiosity let's go to our SD card which at this moment is connected here so I'm going to connect here or select to be more precise let's start the speed test and the maximum that we will be reaching is about 80 to 100, 100 megabytes per second although the limit on this SD card this particular one will go up to 600 megabytes in top speed but only momentarily and then sustainable speeds up to 180 200 megabytes per second so here there's a limitation this will be the maximum speed 
rate that we will get on right and on read. So let's stop this speed test. One interesting feature or one of the interesting features of using a KVM is obviously that I can use one keyboard and mouse only. So I can be controlling this computer here at this moment. But once I decide that I want to go to the other computer, I don't need to switch from um, keyboard and mouse. I just need to press one button and I will have access to everything right over here. So this is one of the great advantages. The other is that all the peripherals that I do connect and I can switch this one here. At this moment, I've got an internal SSD, I've got an SD card, and I've also have the uh, SSD right over here, which is the USB Type-C. So if I remove one of these, uh, one of them will disappear from there. And if I push it in, it will get back right over there. So I can have access to any of the peripherals, including storage. I can copy all data that I want and so on and so forth. And once I decide with my remote control, go to the other computer, which is this desktop here, what I will have access uh, again is uh, to the same peripherals that I've got connected. So at this moment, what we have is the internal SSD of the desktop, and then we have the USB drive, which is the SD card. So if I press here, it will remove the SD card. And if I push it back in, it will uh, give me access to the SD card. But in this particular case, on this computer right over here, the same with the SSD, I can just unplug it from here, it will disappear on screen. And then once I plug it in, it will appear once again. So this is the main advantages. And of of course, I'm working with Windows computers because this docking station is targeted at Windows computers. If you have a Mac OS, just to take your questions, I tested with my MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro and it only shows one display duplicated. So this is a limitation of the chip on the Mac and Mac OS itself. And I also tested with the Mac Mini M4 Pro and the result was more or less the same. We were able to have two displays, but those two displays were duplicated. So no extended mode on Mac OS. If we want to take full advantage of the AV Access Key DE20, then we will require two Windows computers, two laptops if we want to have three displays on each side, or one laptop plus a mini desktop like this one right over here, which will be plugged with one single cable. And I love, love this setup. On the front, it has two USB 2.0 ports, which are those that we will be connecting. Mouse, a keyboard, a gamepad, something that doesn't require high speed. It also has the audio output, an SD card slot, two USB Type-A 3.0, one USB Type-C 3.0. And then on the back, for each laptop, we will find one USB Type-C so that we can connect to the laptop. This will be one single cable to the laptop. And it also has one USB Type-C for power. So we will be connecting the power adapter from the laptop here so that it will be able to charge using only one single cable. It also has the two HDMI ports for 4K at 60 Hz, one gigabit Ethernet port, one USB type A 3.0, and then the port for the remote control. Hope you enjoyed the video about the AV Access KDE20, which is a KVM docking station targeted at two laptops. But as you could see, we could use a laptop and a desktop, which is really, really cool. If the video was helpful, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Huerto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.